Tim. Uh, it's so good to have you tune in all the way from the US over here to Australia. Um, thanks for your time this evening. And I just wanted to touch base with you on your new documentary series called Luke's Dispatches. And I've got the uh, Luke's Dispatches 4 here. Now, we're pretty used to the Dispatches from the Front video series that looks at gospel workers in hard to reach places. But maybe you can just tell us what was what is Luke's Dispatches uh, and really what's the motivation for bringing this together? Thank you, Craig. Um, the the Luke's Dispatches uh, film series is just a continuation of the Dispatches from the Front film series, um, all just rooted in showing what our God is doing in, in our day uh, all over the world. And so uh, I wanted to go to the cities and regions in the book of Acts and show how the gospel is, was at work in the first century, and then fast forward to the 21st century to show how Jesus is still at work building his church in that very city or, or region today. So it's an Acts-based, sort of Acts-bracketed dispatches from the front that shows Acts context and work uh, in our time. So like traversing 2,000 years and the gospel is still rooted, it is still progressing, it is still advancing uh, in those same, very same areas. Yes. As you reflect upon... Uh, your filming of these and writing of them, what was perhaps one or two just surprises, maybe some standouts, real encouragements that you received uh, from, from doing this thus far? I think about the, sometimes the amazing, it was just so powerful to me that the physical proximity of being in a place that's in the book of Acts mm -hmm. with, and, and, the, and not just geographic, but, but stories. You, you take, for example, Peter and Cornelius together in, in, in Caesarea. And then just to go 60 miles, 50, 60 miles up the, up the, up the coast there, a place where we meet a modern day Cornelius. Yeah. Uh, the big lesson for Peter was that the gospel was also for people who were not like him. Mm. And uh, so God brings a Roman of the Romans into Peter's life, this, this Jewish Christian's life. And so what is it, who, who is the Cornelius in our day? And this is what I get to tell, tell about his story. It's a pastor named Mohammed, mm. who is in a church in a Hezbollah stronghold in, in southern Lebanon, just, as I said, 50 miles away from where Peter's encounter with Cornelius. And then going to Athens and, and being on Mars Hill and reading those passages in Acts, and then going down into the streets of Athens below and seeing the gospel, the same gospel of Jesus and the resurrection, still preached, still at work, churches being planted, uh, it was just it, beautiful to see the, the, the work of God spanning all of those centuries. When, when you mentioned about Muhammad, that, that was a beautiful episode to see what is going on there. Like the Friday night, the youth, the children, um, praise God, praise God for, uh, for that connection. If you could be praying, Lord, would you do this through this series? What, what might that be? Yeah. I, I want the big takeaway to be that Jesus is alive. Yeah. That he is risen. And because he's risen, this gospel of his is a living message. Mm -hmm. And it and it indeed spans centuries and it crosses cultures. And it is just as powerful to save in our day as it was in the days of Peter and Paul and Aquila and Priscilla. So that's the that's the big takeaway. The I church know. is not a man-made organization. Uh, it is it is a spirit birthed. Um, work of God, and uh, Jesus is accomplishing His mission. Amen. Amen. We'll, we'll be praying that uh, that the Lord does just that through your video series. So, Tim, thank you so much uh, for this time, and we'll be praying as you go to film the last, I believe, two dispatches, Luke's dispatches, coming up next year, Lord willing. Yes. Thank, thank you. you very much. God bless you.